Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Welcome and welcome back to my welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time coming across my channel, don't make it your last stop. Please consider subscribing, like the video, share the video, and watch the video till the very end. Because guys, guys, right now, like I'm not so happy. Something just happened, and I'm like, bro, what why? Why would you do this? Something just happened. So, guys, watch the video till the very end so that you can know what am I talking about. I was supposed to do a live stream and uh, when I started doing the live, like let's not even go to the live. So first of all, you know, like the party has been there. People were given gifts. Uh, we, each and every person, they got their own gifts. And I believe God's time is the best. So because I even remember, guys, you know, Mr. Karim, he came, he gave out a lot of things. People got GoPros, others got uh, a lot of things in short. Guys, you know that, right? So when all this uh when all these things happens, um there are those that maybe didn't get, even if like they didn't get GoPros, they didn't get cameras, they didn't get other things, but at the end of the day, they got other things, okay? Yeah, because uh, I believe like God's timing is the best. Yeah. So when that happened, I think it was yesterday or, or not even yesterday, let's not go to yesterday. During the dinner, guys, you already know how I was dressed. I was dressed in a white dress or something, something like that. Guys, I just hope this comes out very respectful because I just had to come and I just had to come and talk about it here because maybe some other people are going through it and they are they are keeping quiet. But let me just come and talk about it, guys. Watch the video till the very end so that you can know what am I talking about, okay? So when uh, when everybody got the everything, let's leave the gift part alone. The dinner, the dinner, everything was good because I, I had planned everything, okay? Everything was good and people were dressed up and everything was good. So in my, is it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday's video, uh, I uploaded. Then somebody left a comment and said, uh, did you get a, like, please, I loved you in that white dress and stuff, blah, 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 blah. If you didn't get a GoPro, tell me and uh, mention three things that you would, you would love and want for Christmas. I went ahead and showed him that I didn't get a GoPro and I believe and trust that God's time is always the best. When it's the best time for me to get a GoPro, I will definitely get it. So like when I saw this message, I was like, oh, maybe God has opened doors for me because I remember Mara came to me and told me, Paris, uh, when when that time that her Dr. Williams, she had lost her phone and then like Mara asked like, who can give, who has two phones to give her the other phone? I was like, I have two phones, I can help her. For the time being, because the other that phone, I'm supposed to give it to Keboga. So I gave her. Then Mara came and told me, Paris, the way you are helping somebody else, you never know. Tomorrow it will be your time, and somebody will hold your hand. I was like, yeah. So when yesterday, like I saw that message, I was like, yeah, maybe this is my time. So I even like went ahead and pinned uh, this 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 comment and stuff, and I was like, yeah, maybe this is my time. I like I. It was like, what GoPro do you want? Uh, three things that you want for the Christmas and stuff and I was like yeah it's okay this is everything that I want and I told him then he texted me on whatsapp we started talking on whatsapp so like after, after starting start talking on whatsapp guys like I'm just trying to say this in the most respectful way okay like we started talking and stuff and he asked me like what do you want uh, these kind of things like GoPro what is your for Christmas I told him like in my house I don't have a seat uh, I want to buy a seat a TV and a better phone. Guys, remember that is what I've told him. And he was like, yeah, it's okay. The next thing this person asked, asked me is like, I want you to move from the village and go to Nairobi and start working in Nairobi. I'm like, where would I go to Nairobi? Me, where I, we are here where I am, I'm very much comfortable. Right now, I don't fancy like the fancy lifestyle that you are, you are supposed to be in Nairobi. You are supposed to be doing this. You are supposed to be working all this. No. Me, as long as I'm somewhere and I'm comfortable, I'm okay with being with, like, I'm okay here where I am. Even if it's in the village, that you, you, if you come in to tell me, to tell me, to, the village doesn't suit you. No, this is my life. You cannot come and dictate my life how I'm supposed to be living. You can't do that. So I was like, no, bro, you don't do that. So that moment, like, I was like, okay, let me just go with the flow and see how this thing is going. So guys, remember, when you came to me, it was like, I want to get your GoPro, a seat. A TV and what else? I think uh, and a better phone because the first thing he said that like, he was going to get me the GoPro. At, then the three things that I want is a Christmas wish list. Those words now. I was like, yeah. I told him everything that I wanted. Then, like, uh, he started like beating around the bush at you. You are so beautiful. I don't know this and this. 
Like there is nothing wrong with that, yes, guys. But watch the video till the very end so that you can understand where am I heading with this? Because like it has really pissed me off, and I just thought, let me just come here address it. Because maybe somebody else might be going through the same thing, and they wouldn't want to talk about. Because some I don't know, it's entitlement or it was what. So listen, guys. So I was like, like it got to a point that he was asking so personal questions. I'm like, no, you don't know me that. Why are you asking me so, like such questions? Give me a break. If this is what you are coming to talk about, please, you could have told me from the word go, from the word go. Then I, th I remember. I think uh, this morning I went to somebody that I won't mention her name. She's just a content creator that we live around in the same same compound. So I went to her house, guys. I won't mention her name. I went to her house. No, even even before that, I remember yesterday, Jamie came to my house then we were just like there talking and stuff and she was like oh yeah god is god is going to open doors and stuff i was like yeah god will definitely open doors for us so now this morning i went to one of us one of the content creators here so when i went i showed her the message she was like she just laughed she didn't say anything she laughed then she opened message on her phone and showed me the same same thing the same same thing this guy was doing the same same thing he was doing to her Guys, I won't mention her name. The same, same thing this girl was doing to me. Telling me, oh, I'll do this for you. I'll do that for you and stuff. The same, same thing he was doing to that girl. That's my other fellow content creator. That is still like, I was like, wow. So I was like, okay, so this is a norm. She even showed me the number. The number is the same, same number. Profile photo is still the same, same number. And I was like, wow, so this is a game. And now like we asked ourselves, for how long has this been going on? Maybe it's just me and her that we have come along and seen it and we're like, yeah, this is happening. Or maybe there are other people outside that maybe they are afraid of staying and talking about this. And you're like, okay, what's really not happening here? Why are you doing this? And then like some minutes, some minutes ago right now, I was trying to go live. And when I went live, this person comes to my live session and says it's you the thing that i was supposed to be sending you i'm going to send to you right now and guys now this is where like my worry and my concern comes in where like where are you coming to videos to lives and comment session to come and lie yet you know so well that you can't do anything because you know at the end of the day maybe somebody might be like let's like let's not even talk about me right now let's talk about somebody 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 else somewhere that is so is really in need of maybe a phone maybe a gopro maybe like better something then you you go and leave a comment and you say you are going to do this yet you know so well deep down you, you can't do it and that person is very much in need, in need of maybe a phone then somebody might see that comment and be like ah I was about to get you this, but somebody else has already offered to do it. Then they leave to do it. Have you not thought about that? Like, why are you doing that? Because, like, guys, right now, let's not even talk about me or maybe my other content creator that this had happened to her. Right now, we're trying to see at a less, very less fortunate person that is in a very easy need of getting a camera or a better phone. And this, this person has been struggling. And yet you sit there, you're watching this video, and you know so well, you're not going to do anything about it. You go ahead and leave a comment. Each and every video this person does, you leave a comment in the live chat. You leave comments telling that you're going to do this, yet you know so well you can't do Why are you doing that? Because this, this, this is you like trying, trying to limit this person from maybe, maybe destiny helper or something, not knowing that you are trying to making this person not get to where they are supposed to be. Because at the end of the day, please, why would you do that? And so, like when he did that, guys, like I even, he, like me, he just pissed off during my life. I just sent to, had to end the life. And uh, then after after ended the life, he has come, like, he has come to text me and he's like, I'll do this and this and this. And I'm like, bro, I've already seen what you did. This is something like maybe you're used to. Coming to people and lying. Hey, like where would you do that? What are you obtaining at the end of the day? Are you trying to block people's blessings or what are you doing? At the end of the day, even if like uh, somebody, they might, they might be need or maybe they might be desperate for things. Sometimes people are not that desperate. Because me, like, th then what hurts me the most? When I did that, 
he comes to my nini like he starts te texting me telling me you you are working for maru for free i don't know blah 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 really yani you go to hell and attack maru who is maru coming in in all this my mom of all people at you your mom is sick you need help yeah it's okay my mom is sick i need help but at the end of the day even if like i need help why are you going all that way to attack my mom and maru at you you're working for maru for free Do you know the kind of help that Mara has given me? It's even more than I don't know. Mara opened me this channel. He has been teaching me YouTube since when? Since that time till now. And he's still doing that. We are still here. I've learned a lot from Mara. So you cannot start come you cannot start coming to me and telling me you you're doing things for free. That wasn't free. If that is what you call free, look for another word for saying things are free. And guys you all my viewers you all my subscribers guys I love you so 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 much but there are some things that you just see and you're like why why is somebody doing this what are you gaining at the end of the day after doing this why what has this person wronged you or is it that you don't you don't want to see person that are they are progressing or you just want to see people stuck in one place doing nothing with your lies why are you lying and how would you come like start talking about my mom how is my mom coming in in all this Yes, I know my mom is sick. I know how to take care of her. I know at the end of the day how I'm supposed to be paying her bills. And even before you texted me, I was paying for her bills. I was planning on getting myself a TV. I'm planning on getting myself a GoPro. I'm planning planning on getting myself a seat. So even before you came to me, all these things I knew I'm supposed to be getting them. And even if it like it won't be today or tomorrow, one day I will have them. Cuz I'm not in a hurry. I will take life one step at a time. It's not a must for all these things to be today or once once and once for all. No. These things like slowly slowly you will get there because like guys this really pissed me off and I just thought like coming here and talk about it because as I've said maybe there are people that maybe they have kept quiet about it they wouldn't want to talk about them and it's spinning them it's hurting them. You know? Cause why are you coming to live chats, to premieres, to comment section, coming to lie? Yet you know so well you can't do. Cause after that message I was shown that you did to that my fellow other content creator, and the question that you are asking ourselves is who else? Who else might be a victim? You going to lie to them at you? I'll do this for you. I'll do that for you. Why are you doing that? If you know like you can't do anything, so you just watch the videos. leave genuine comments and stop the lies like you guys will love you but sometimes some of you i don't know like you just come to watch the videos and you feel as if there is so much entitlement or what's happening like guys me like you my viewers i really love you guys from the bottom of my heart and you guys know that i love you but there are some things that i can't keep them in my heart there are things that i will just need to come out here and talk about them because me i'm that kind of person if i'm pissed off ups I'm if I'm pissed off about something I will definitely talk I won't keep quiet or, or I'll be like ah uh, na let me sell this course no I will come out and I'll talk about it cuz me right now doing this video it's not about me it's not only about me it's about any other person outside there cuz maybe this person there he has led to a lot of people and some people they have hopes that they'll do this and this and this and that will never happen Do you know like how how at breaking it is? You know like it's better where would you lie first to start from there? Where would you lie to somebody that you don't even know? And you know like guys I've told you before. You'll be seeing a lot of smiley faces here and there, but at the end of the day people are not smiling, people are not happy. People are going through a lot. Do you know what people are going through? You don't know. Then you're coming to lie to them then like yeah you'll give them hope for that day but what about tomorrow because you come to this person this person was like my phone is not good i need another phone then today you'll come to that person and tell them it you i'm going to get you a phone you know you've given hope to that person for today you've told this person tomorrow i'm going to get you a phone when tomorrow comes because you get you already gave this person hope for tomorrow that they they are going to get a phone when that tomorrow comes and there is no phone what else what next what story are you going to keep on lying and lying and lying and lying and lying why would you do that 
it's better like just let people the way they are if people are struggling let them struggle when the time is right they will get all that they need all that they deserve and stop like blocking people's blessings in the name of shine like you're trying to make yourself look good yet no that's not good that's not even fair let's be kind enough let's like you guys we love you guys so much but sometimes some of you like it's not everybody yeah but some of you like bro don't do that because like me it, and it really pissed me off the part that pissed me off the most is him telling me that it, you've been working free for marwa bro do you know what free means we were there our channels grew some channels were monetized. People were getting donations and a lot of things. People got cameras. Do you know the meaning of free? That's not free. That's like, uh, there is a thing that says, would you want to be given the fish or would you like to be taken to the lake and be shown how to fish? Moro didn't just give us the fish. He went ahead and showed us how to fish. After he showed us how to fish, we got fish, many fish, not only one. So that is more than payment. And we will forever be grateful to Mara. And I know like there are some people that are always like uh, watching videos and they're like, uh, oh, this Mara, all that. No. We love Mara so much. And he has held our aunt in a way that you guys, you can't held our... Like some of you, I don't know, like he has held our aunt in a way that we never expected. Us being there for, all, for a whole month, helping him where we could, it was a happiness. It was our privilege. See, seeing that the party is going on well, it's progressing on well. That was our happiness. That was our ha that was the best part. So, like you come in and telling me you're working for Mara for free. No, please don't do that. We love Mara so much. He's our mentor, he's our big brother, and we want the best for him. We want one day to be seated, surrounded by Mara. We want one day to invite Mara to our homes that we have built and tell him, Mara, thank you so much. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have been here. That is what we want for Mara. And so you, like, when you're trying maybe to come to our DMs and telling us, it, oh, uh, Mara is a bad person. I don't know you're working for Mara for free. No. Imagine me, I want to tolerate that. I won't take that. You can talk to me, insult me personally. Tell me whatever you want personally to Paris. But where I draw the limits, where I draw the line, is when you go ahead and start saying at your mother this no and also my mom i know yes my mom has been sick and i've been taking care of her god always provides for me if my mom calls me right now she's like where is i need to go to the hospital even if i don't have money god provides in a way that i don't even know so please don't come and start saying it you your mom i don't know that no that is where i draw the line where i draw the line don't even joke with my mom don't even joke with Mara. At you, I was going to help you a lot. Uh, I was going to be helping you with your, with your mom's hospital bills. You know, guys, there is a genuine help that someone will come and tell you, like, I'll be helping you genuinely. And you'll see this is genuine help. But there are helps that comes, and it comes with a lot of conditions, and you're like, is this even help? Or what's happening? Because that was it. Because the moment like, I told him, like, I've seen what you've been doing to my fellow YouTuber. I've seen everything. It was like I was supposed to be helping you at your, I know your mom is sick, you're working free for Mara. Then he used the F word. As I've said, where I draw the line, my mom and Mara. Because the way Mara has held my aunt. I don't think whether there is anybody that has ever held my hand the way Mara did. Sometimes like I just look at Mara and I'm like, if I could give you the whole world, Mara could give you, but I can't. So let me just be grateful. Like it's just like the other day someone was coming to my DM and telling me it's yo, I want you to be my PSG. I'm from US, I don't know, something like that. I was like, okay, let me give it a shot. Let me listen. Because you know, at the end of the day, like you just can't shut somebody before listening to their story. So I was like, okay, go ahead, I'm listening. That was an Instagram. So was, we were there talking and he's like, um, uh, you can tell that tomorrow, I don't know, blah. He used the F word again and he's like I want you to forget about him and start working for me. I was like, no, bro. That is where you draw. That is where like I draw the line. Because Mara has helped me a lot. Like it doesn't have to be like it's like Mara Mara that has helped me. I don't know, but he has given me one of the best ideas. 
but so, i know like i know some of you guys like you watch the videos but you don't like Mara, you don't like what he does but that is him for him and that is where god blesses him that is why god will always keep on blessing him because he holds hands he helps and supports each and every single person doesn't have to be me doesn't have to be another person but whoever you are Mara will hold your hand and that is why like he is always blessed so you come here telling me it's your using the f word and telling you oh no 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 i want to narrate that as i've said where i draw the line my mom and tomorrow because guys i don't know like that really pissed me off bro and so now like when he, you know like like i've i've understood his tactic tactics and i've known who he truly is he wants to like resort me and he wants to manipulate me and lie to me because i'm not that stupid i'm not that naive i know a red flag when i see one and from the word go even yesterday when he started telling me things that you are you married do you have kids that was a red flag for me because i'm like guys as i've said i want this to come out the most respectful way if like it's really like as i've said let's not even talk about me if it's really like a genuine help that you want to render to somebody when you've gone to somebody to help where are you going to their private life what do you want to achieve at the end of the day what is it that you are looking for are you looking looking for information that you want from that person or what is it this is somebody's private life why are you going into it at your are you married do you have kids how is that even but how is that even your business we don't even know each other to, to that extent you left a comment in my video on what you wanted then coming to my inbox you're coming with other things that is my private life my relationship status my if i have kids or not that is my that is my private life unless we know each other to an extent that i can be so free with you and telling you it's you yeah i have these plans i have these plans yes but you're just coming for the very first minute then you're asking me about all this that is a red flag bro you don't do that and respect is very much important like i believe like you should you should treat one another the way you want somebody else to treat you respect me i respect you do you respect yourself do you want somebody else to respect you or how do you want people to treat you or if like uh, do you want like to be that kind of thing that if you meet us and you do not say hi to each other maybe if one time we we'll never meet so that's that's like i'm trying to say if you know you can't do anything don't leave the fake promises because you're giving this person hope yet you know deep down so well you won't do anything about it why are you doing that or again as i've said that person was maybe in so much need of that thing then there you've gone you've left a comment people going through the comment section they were like Ah, let me get Paris a GoPro. Then they see that your comment, you are saying that you are going to get a GoPro. Yet you know so well that you won't get her. You know that is trying to block somebody's blessings. Why? Why would you do that? As I, and I've said, guys, let's not use me as an. Let, let's use somebody else as an example. Somebody is so much desperate in the need of something. Then you come and tell them, I'm going to get you. Yet you know deep down you won't do it. Please don't do that. Kindly. Like this was really pissed me off anyway guys i love you guys so so much i love you guys and i'll say where i draw the lines please don't come to my dm or come to my whatsapp telling me it's yo i don't know this or oh, this that no i love you guys like i really 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 love you but sometimes there are things even the person that has done this and is going to watch this video i love you but all i want is respect and i love somebody that is true to his or her words and i love somebody that uh no gonna gonna remain short yeah i love you guys for always watching my videos like you just guys just watching this video not, not not skipping the ads sharing the video that's a very good support and if you know like you can't do more than that please don't don't lie that is like don't lie please yeah so guys, I think you've um I think I've talked enough. I don't have any bad blood, even with the person that did that. I don't have any blood, bad blood. It just started draining, guys. So I think I'll be having to shout. So 
guys thank you so much for watching the video let's meet you on the next video like the video share the video subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell if you have started running raining guys and i know you can't share me properly so i think we're going to meet you in the next video i love you guys and whoever has done that i know you're going to watch this video i'm so sorry about peace to you in any way but i love people that are so true and true to their words when somebody says a it's a not b when you say it's b it's b if it's c it's c i don't i don't like people that are cornering so guys let's meet on the next video i love you guys Mwah,